Hi, this is John of Trish and John's Gardening Channel. We wanted to give you a real quick update today on where we are with our peppers, our basil, and our parsley. Uh, real quick, before we get into that, we have moved the peppers now upstairs and we have a new light set up. These are a T5, six bulb, four foot long, Slim Star setup. We did go ahead and purchase the stand that you see there. It's an Argo Max light track. Uh, you don't need that for 29 bucks, though I felt that it was you know, I'll say cheap enough to go ahead and purchase that. Just made it a lot easier for us. Uh, one thing about these lights, you gotta be a little bit careful. Hopefully you can see that. You know, you're looking at about, you know, close to 80 degrees. Actually, it would be a little bit hotter over where the peppers are because we do have our heating pad under our peppers. So that gets up near 90 uh, degrees or so with these lights. So uh, we do, you know, I've got this light raised here for the purpose of this video. Now normally I lower this lights during the day from about seven in the morning till about, I'll say seven, eight at night, we leave the lights on and I'll lower that light, you know, within two inches or so of these peppers. I did raise up the trays here with the parsley and the basil, again, with our foam spacers, just to kind of, again, get those a little bit closer to the light. Not as much worried about them getting leggy. They seem to be doing quite well. so. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, I think Trisha's going to give you a quick update. It's going to be weekend or next on where she is with her basil and parsley. I'll just give you a quick preview here. Doing quite well. You can see some of them really love it under this light setup. Uh, they're really popping. So there's your, you can see the, the first true leaves on the parsley coming out. And then again, our, our peppers, uh, the, the three on the, on the right there. Those are the Anaheim uh, hot peppers two there uh, along with the one that's a little bit closest to me in the, in the video is our mini red bell peppers and the last three on the end there are Chinese five color peppers you can see uh, the leaves on those are, are definitely different in color they're, they're much more purple if you will uh, than the other types of pepper that we're growing so you know quite interested in seeing how those are gonna make out again we've never grown these before so you know everything's a surprise and uh, but so far so good right one last thing i wanted to show you is the net pots these hydroponic pots to air prune the roots hopefully you can see that in the video i'm going to try and zoom in here but we've got a lot of roots that are now you know trying to exit the pot now one thing you notice what they're not doing is they're not hitting the edge of the pot and and, and you know twirling around and, and and getting root bound that's 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 what we don't want uh, they're pretty much doing exactly what we want which is reaching the pot you know the outside air and then they actually naturally trim themselves or prune themselves i'm going to inset some pictures there's a couple of pictures that i took over the last few days that illustrate exactly the point that we're trying to kind of get across here so you know the root pruning method it is actually uh, working out quite well. I'm, I'm happy with the results uh, to date. Probably not gonna pot these up for probably another week and a half, maybe two weeks. And normally if you were in a Dixie cup or a solo cup, something like that, uh, you probably at this point would, would, would wanna start potting these up even at, you know, at this small size. But again, with this method, you don't need to do that. You wanna leave them in this pot. You want them to uh, reach the air, prune themselves, and then s send off all of these side shoots and pretty much fill this area of dirt, if you will, uh, with as many roots as they can, get a nice root ball, and then once we are assured that these things have started to really saturate the, the soil and get as much nutrient out of this soil in this area as possible, that's when we'll pot them up. I'll cut the video real quick. I wanted to show you the next size pot that we've got. I uh, just got to go ahead and grab it for you, just a sec. Okay, so these are the two size pots that we're dealing with now. The one on the right, this is the size that we've been planting in. You know, all of our peppers in, are, are in that size pot. And again, we're going to leave them in those uh, pots until probably next Saturday, next Sunday, where we'll pot them up into this next size up. It's actually not the next size up if you were to buy these in stores. It's probably two or three sizes up as these pots are sold. but. Again, we're going with the air pruning method. Uh, we'll show you that repotting of these peppers in the next video. I've got nine of these pots and we're gonna do all nine peppers and we'll show you that 
you know how we go ahead and do that next weekend but um, you know so far so good I just wanted to again give you a quick preview everything looks like it's popping and everything looks uh, uh, you know like it's enjoying being under these t5 lamps that we've got so anyways that's it for this week if you like this video please you know like it and also uh, share it with your friends you know we'd like to get as many viewers uh, as we can kind of watching our videos and and seeing our progress over this coming summer so again i hope you like this video and we will talk to you soon okay cheers